Hello, my creative colleague. My name is Leo Becker. And in this video, I'll show you four new features in Adobe Illustrator that will speed up your creative workflow. The first is text to pattern a functionality that uses the power of Adobe Firefly directly within Illustrator, allowing us to create custom patterns from text commands. The second is generative shape fill. With this, we can create design elements that follow an established style, ensuring much more consistent results. Third, I'll show you how to color your illustrations using the generative recolor functionality, where with just one prompt, you can create new color combinations. And lastly, 10x pen zoom, making planning and zooming with complex documents faster. Come with me and I'll show you everything. Here's a piece I created in Adobe Illustrator. You can see that it is fully editable. I wanna use this as a basis to show you how to create patterns easily and efficiently using artificial intelligence within Illustrator. Let's create a pattern like the one used in the background of this artwork, something that represents a liquid texture with shapes reminiscent of marble. First, start by creating a rectangle. Don't worry about the size, as this can be adjusted later. Next, go to the menu Object to Pattern, Generate Patterns. Here you will enter the text prompt for creating your pattern. A tip is to be simple and direct to achieve more concise results, but test what works best for you. In addition to the text prompt, we will define the creation colors, which in my case are green and orange from my palette. Then we can select the type of pattern effect, which can be geometric, flat design, or doodle. Just click generate. You will always get three results at once and you can choose the most suitable one. If the result is still not satisfactory, no problem. Just click generate again and three more options will be produced. You can also adjust the initial parameters, such as colors, style, and even the text prompt to get new results. Once you find a pattern you like, you can refine the creation by editing the pattern. Simply click on the three dots and select edit pattern. An editing window will open where the pattern editing options will be visible. You can adjust any details you want as all the elements are vectors, making adjustments and other necessary details easy. Then just click done. Your pattern is ready to use. Once finished, you can easily add the creative pattern to the swatches panel, greatly speeding up and optimizing your overall workflow process. Now I want to show you another feature that will change the way you create elements for your projects, which is the Gen Shape Fill, enabling us to create designs that follow the shape of something already established. Let me show you using my logo as an example. I selected the logo and went to the object menu on Gen Shape Fill. In the window that opens, there are some very interesting options for creation. The first is the prompt box where you will enter the text command with the instructions for what you want to create. The result will be created within the selected shape, in my case, the logo. You can adjust how closely the result fits within the shape by dragging the shape strength bar to either loose or tight. Another bar just below controls the level of detail the illustration will have, which can range from simpler to more complex. Then you can select a reference style, choosing an image or part of your own work for the system to understand how you want the result, serving as a visual base. In my case, I will select the artwork I am developing because it is the style I want, select the desired effect type from various options. Here I will use flat design and then the colors using the same logic we saw earlier for pattern creation. Click on generate. Three options will appear, all following the shape of the logo I selected and maintaining the style and commands I used in the prompt. If none of the results are satisfactory, simply repeat the process by clicking Generate. Again, as with patterns, edit and adjust the prompt details to refine the results and achieve what you envision. Now let's recolor this poster using a command prompt. Select the entire piece and click on the Recolor Artwork icon or go to the Edit menu, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. The Recolor window will open. You will click on the Generative Recolor tab this is where the magic happens. In the text box, type the prompt you want to recolor your piece. In my case, I will use Psychedelic 70s and click Generate. Done, just wait a few seconds and color combinations will appear in the selection box, all corresponding to the prompt you used. Simply select one. If you want to make any fine adjustments, click on the three dot menu and select Select and Edit Colors. The adjustment box for the selected scheme will open and you can make your customizations. Finally, I want to highlight the new zoom functionality. Now. The zoom ranges from 3.3% to 60,000%, allowing you to see fine details with much more precision. This is especially useful for final adjustments and ensuring that all elements are perfectly aligned. And that's it. With these features and functionalities, you can create amazing designs in Adobe Illustrator more efficiently and creatively. 